The cloud computing infrastructure that supports online services today depends on virtual machine technology. Yet virtual machines invented by IBM and others in the 1960s had fallen out of favor. In the late 1990s, however, that changed when Mendel Rosenblum and his students at Stanford University brought virtual machines back to life. This model that people were using where the hardware and operating system was considered sort of one, you know, that just seemed broken. The idea that you could decouple those and now have the software where you could apply, it seemed like just a better way to me. In 1998, Rosenblum and his collaborators founded VMware. They could see that the future of virtual machines was to use them to support the management and execution of multiple diverse software environments. The value of virtual machines would become the bundling of all the software needed to perform the desired functionality in a form that leads to efficient execution and management. We were finding out all these things and, okay, what does this mean for a virtual machine and how do we have to do it? And, I went to show my, my wife, Diane, who was running the company yet, and I had told her, well, look, it's running. It booted overnight. It took eight hours <laughs> to boot. And she, she, she immediately said, well, that's no good. And I said, told her, you know, it's good because it knows, we know, now know everything it needs to do to pull off this virtualization of the x86 architecture. VMware would go on to popularize the use of virtual machines on the dominant x86 architecture to allow many different software environments to share processor resources within a data center. That approach would ultimately lead to the development of modern cloud computing. Every time I encountered something, I wanted to know how it worked and you know, would dive into it, and computers are great for that. And I'm not sure that's a recipe for someone today, especially because things are so complex today, but uh, it's only worked well for me.